Howdy, folks. So, Tails has reached the Oil Ocean Zone. This is the start of Dr. Eggman's base on West Side Island. And Tails is gonna try to sneak in through the oil plant factory. What exactly is this place? I mean, I know it has to do with oil, but are they pumping the oil? Or is he making the oil? I don't think he... I don't think he can make oil, but then... I'm no kind of genius. I'm nowhere near as smart as Dr. Eggman. If anyone knew a way to do that, I'm sure he would. <laughs> and it would also explain why he's able to fund all of this. I mean, come on, this has to cost a shitload of money. <laughs> Anywho, though. Oil Ocean is a very purple maze-like zone. It is probably what I'd consider the second hardest zone in the game. And Miles Tails Prower is gonna go ahead and try and make his way through. Uh, these green platforms that I'm standing on right then, right then, uh, they can actually crush you if you're not careful. It takes a lot because the green fire stuff that shows up as the platforms shoot up, it actually hurts you, but no, no, they can crush you. And I hate those fucking seahorse enemies. I never see them coming for some reason. Like, I've played this game... God, you guys don't even know how many times. Uh, let's see, for a few years, I started counting how many times I played and beat Sonic the Hedgehog 2, because I realized I was playing it a lot. And I mean a lot. I play it a shitload. During the course of those three years, I played it at least 895 times, is what I remember the last count being. No, I'm not kidding. I, I'm completely serious. I remember it being 895 times. And that's just over the course of three years. I've been playing this game since 1994. Alright, the first video game system that I myself ever owned. Not the first one I ever played, but the first one that I myself ever owned was a Sega Genesis. And part of the reason I love this game so much is because when I got that Sega Genesis in... God, it must have been 1994... Yeah, in fact, I'm pretty sure it was 94. I believe I got it on my birthday, I want to say, because I really remember. Anyway, that doesn't matter. I got two games with the Sega Genesis. Two games came with it, and those games were Columns, which is a puzzle game. I like it. It's okay. It's pretty fun. And the other one is this game right here, Sonic the Hedgehog 2. And I have played this game... So many fucking times. There was one day where I played it ten times in a row. From start to finish. Sonic and Tails, Sonic, just Tails. I, I, I played it as all of them. I even played it as Knuckles, but I'll talk about that sometime later. I've played this game to death. It is one of my favorite games. It is an almost perfect game. There is something that I think ruins the potential for it to be perfect, but... I'll talk about that in the My Thoughts video. I'm not going to talk about it now because, oh my god, I love this fucking game. The music's great. The platforming's perfect. The, the enemies, everything. Everything about this game is just fantastic. And somehow I wound up on the bottom path. I, I or the lower path. I usually end up on the upper path. Upper? <laughs> on the higher path, and I don't usually see that giant oil ladle that we passed a bit ago. At least that's what I see it as. I, I don't know if that's actually what it is. Basically, it's this cup-like platform that swings back and forth. I, I always refer to it as the oil ladle, and anyone I talked to who's played this game knew what I meant. <laughs> Fucking seahorse enemies. I hate them! But yeah, there's a lot of spikes, lots of enemies. Uh, there aren't any bottomless pits, because I think you actually saw it for a bit, but when you fall into the oily water, I, I don't think it is water, just the oil, it starts sucking you down, but if you keep jumping, you're never going to go all the way down. If you don't jump, though, you will die. But anywho, oh no, never mind. <laughs> I thought that that was the end of the act, but I'm mistaken. In fact, I'm pretty sure I'm thinking of the wrong zone. Or not zone, the wrong act. I'm pretty sure that this is act two? Yeah. Because we're at Dr. Eggman now. And uh, he's in an oily submarine, I guess. And honestly, he's not very different from Hilltop Zone's boss. <laughs> Basically, he pops up, you hop on him. The most I usually get is five. I think one time I got six and managed to get away. 
and then he goes down, he shoots a spike at you easily, easy enough to dodge, then he has a laser which shoots three times, and it's pretty damn easy to dodge. You jump on him when he resurfaces, it's over. <laughs> Sonic the Hedgehog 2, I will say this, has some pretty easy bosses. Some of the later ones are tougher, but it does have a lot of easy bosses, and a lot of people may not like that, but, you know. I have no problem with it. While Tails is trying to enter Dr. Eggman's base from the oil ocean, Sonic is already inside because he's the fastest thing alive next to Dr. Eggman. He's already inside of Dr. Eggman's base. This is Metropolis Zone. This is by far the hardest fucking zone in the game. I don't think it's quite as bad as Scrap Brain, though. I will say that. I don't think it's as bad as Scrap Brain from Sonic the Hedgehog 1. It's probably a close second, though. I don't remember anything in Sonic 3 & Knuckles being this difficult. I mean, Sonic 3 & Knuckles, but you know what? Fuck that. I'll talk about that when we get there. It's a very green place, as you can see. Very mechanical. Lots of bumpers, lots of springs. By far the most dickish badniks in the game. They have these starfish enemies that explode. We've already seen them. Fuck, that's a dead end. Uh, it also has crab guys, which we saw, but we haven't seen it attack yet. And then it has by far the most annoying enemy that is in this zone, and that is the fucking Slicer, the Praying Mantis enemy, which is... Not right there. Sorry, I'm thinking of a different part. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm getting confused. <laughs> yeah, when you get to these nut sections, or bolt sections, rather, uh, you run to the right to make them go up, you run to the left to make them go down. Honestly, you never need to make them go down unless you're trying to avoid a slicer, which, again, I guarantee you we're gonna see one dick me over. But, regardless, <laughs> lots of switches to make platforms appear, lots of spikes, lots of lava, lots of bottomless pits. This zone is fucking evil. This zone is just fucking evil. Right here is why you never really need to make the bolt go down. It's because you're always going to find ground underneath the bolt part, so I just like jumping down. That's just me, though. If you want to make the bolt go down, then by all means, knock yourself out. <laughs> oh my god, the fucking music in this place. I love it. I love it! It's fantastic. It's by far the best song in any Sonic game ever. Nah, I'm serious. I think it's the best song in all of Sonic. It is fan-fucking-tastic. There's a slicer, there's the dickwads. I hate them. <laughs> They're right up there with the glow bug enemies. The glow bug enemies I still think are more annoying because uh, I hate having to wait for them to become uninvincible. But the slicers are are fucking dicks. We're gonna see why, don't worry. We'll see why. Anywho, this is Act 2. Uh, this is where the lava really comes into play. There, I think there's still some in Act 1 of Metropolis Zone, but fucking crab! The crabs are pretty annoying, too. They always stick them in these really narrow corridors, and... Corridors? What? They always stick them in these really narrow pathways, and... They're so hard to jump over and land on them, because... The hitbox for their giant crab... For their giant crab plot... Sorry, I don't know what I was thinking, but... Their giant crab claw, that's a huge, like, hitbox, and it's so hard to jump over them. But, the game's kind of screwy in that you can actually spin dash into them. If you're going fast enough, you'll actually kill them before they hurt you with their crab claw. I don't know how the fuck it happens, but it does. <laughs> God damn starfish enemies. <laughs> Those fucking stars, they move a little bit, and then they explode, and the points hurt, and... Ah, I hate them. That was pretty lucky right there, by the way. I usually fall into the lava whenever I pull that stunt. <laughs> oh, right here's a good example. Watch, I rev up, and then, boom! I kill the crab enemy by spin dashing into him. That's my best tip for killing the crabs. That is like the... Ugh, fuck! The goddamn crabs! <laughs> I keep fucking up my groove! <laughs> anyway, that's my best tip for killing the crab enemies, rather than try to jump over them. When the corridor's narrow, that is. When you have plenty of room, then by all means, jump over them. Anyway, we get to see why the slicers are so fucking annoying right now. So I jump on this bolt, we head to the right to make it raise, because we can't jump up to the platform. I jump over the spinners, and I don't know what the fuck I was thinking, but they hit me and knock me off the fucking bolt. Fucking dick move, game. <laughs> 
And so you have to back up a little to try and get the bolt to reset. It doesn't, so I'm like, oh, it almost looks like I can jump over the... Oh, fuck. Like, god damn it. So I have to go back again and make sure I go further. I think this might be far enough, but I'm like, uh, eh, fuck it. We'll just make sure. So I go over to where the checkpoint was, because I figure, okay, it's got to be far enough. I go over. Sure enough, it resets. But so does the Slicer's fucking claws. What you have to do is lower down, wait until they turn their backs. There's more than one place where you have to do this in Metropolis Zone, by the way. And then you jump up into them. I fucking hate the Slicer's. <laughs> Ah, oh, god damn it! <laughs> this place is so... It, it's so easy to get hit here. It's so fucking difficult, but I still love it. I love it. I love the platforming. It's so perfect. It's so perfect. It's got such a fantastic song that even though I'm getting the shit kicked out of me all the time here, I don't care. I still have a blast. I always have a blast playing Metropolis Zone. It's by far my favorite zone in the game. That, that, that should tell you just how much I love it. Shields are always nice. <laughs> oh my god. Yes, shields are always nice. <laughs> Fucking Slicer! See, they're such dickwads. They put them in the most dickwadish places. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh, I love this part. I rev up, and boom, I jump. It's a small thing, but I love it. <laughs> Anywho, ladies and gentlemen, that was Act 2 of Metropolis Zone. There's actually an Act 3, and we'll see it in part number 5. Stay tuned.